Hello, I'm Anne from Geek Life Luxembourg, and I'm here with Thomas from the band Nightwish. So, how are you doing, Thomas? Doing really good. Um, in a way, the whole band feels that uh, the fifth week of the tour of this leg has started, so there's a little bit of really odd stories going on and all that, and you're kind of on the weird end of the tour mood. But uh, never been happier than now. That's great to hear. Mm -hmm. So, in 2014 you worked with Amnesty International with a video with um, a candle campaign. Um, what do you think about Amnesty International? Well, I wouldn't actually call it that we work with them. Uh, they approached us and uh, asked us if uh, they could use the song Taika Talvi in uh, one of the ads and we thought it was a perfect combo and immediately agreed. But um, um, I've never been in any closer contact with uh, Amnesty International, to be honest. Um, and what significance do the human rights have for you? Well, there is a sort of connection with the human rights and actually the rights of all living things uh, on our new album. Um, we had a lot of long and very fruitful discussions with the band on our little night with summer camp two uh, summers ago and uh, it opened a lot of our eyes and uh, we wanted to make a slight statement on the new album but we wanted to also do it in a very subtle way because um, too much how, do, how would you say like preaching or too going too aggressively towards things is never a good thing. Yeah. So this album was our little effort of maybe making people think and uh, giving some food for thought. Thank you. So, um, how was your work with Richard? Ri Ri Richard Dawkins. Yeah, your work with Richard Dawkins. How was it on your last album? Well. I had one of those huge fanboy moments, which I very rarely get <laughs> anymore when I when I met him for the first time. Um, a little over a year ago, when we recorded his part for the album in a studio in Oxford, I've been a fan of his works, his books, for years and years, and uh, uh, a major inspiration for the new album as well. Um, one of my true heroes and meeting him was was quite something and uh, he's a true English gentleman he has uh, a mind the size of the whole cosmos and uh, it was just such a great honor that he actually agreed to come and uh, we're gonna meet him in three days in Wembley as well he's gonna come and so see I the show so I guess you're excited I'm very excited. The whole band is very excited. I mean, we all, we all are more or less fans of his works. Um, so, uh, you talked about the tour before, and that, and that it is the f fifth week you're, you're on tour. And how is it at the moment? Was, were the fans all very happy? Were the the concerts all great? Um, this has to be top three tour of all time that we did maybe even top one. Everything has gone so smoothly. The atmosphere in the whole group is so well. I'm, I'm not only talking about our band, but the support bands, uh, the technical crew, the catering, everything. There are 70, 72 persons on this caravan for five weeks and everything's been really harmonic and beautiful. So it's, it's truly amazing. And the shows have been fantastic, a lot of people shown up there has been a lot of enthusiasm in the crowds and uh, we have just had a really really good time but like I said uh, it's five weeks on the road now and uh, Yuletide is approaching so sort of looking forward to going home as well and having some peace and quiet with the family but uh, yeah three more shows to go yeah. Um, do you have any favorite or funny moment that happened on the tour? <coughs> um, <laughs> uh, 
Does it sound boring that nothing comes to mind at the moment? Like I said, it's been so harmonic. So, so that, everything uh, was very peaceful and no stress, no... I mean, stress, there is always stress. But yeah, it's... <laughs> we've been doing this for 18 years now, and uh, looking back 15 years, it was something quite a bit different. And uh, now it's much more peaceful and you kind of enjoy the peace and quiet after the show and all that, so... There is <laughs> not that much happening anymore. No. Which is not a pity at all because uh, everybody enjoys that. Yeah, everybody mm. enjoys the, mm. the calm and the peace. Yeah, whenever it's possible. Well, you're here in Luxembourg. Did you actually visit here? Did you, like, I mean, you cannot just walk around, but did you visit <laughs> a bit? I think this is the second time we ever play in Luxembourg, and uh, to be honest, I've never seen anything except the really? ho hotel lobby and the parking lot where the oh, bus is staying. Oh, you're missing out. I know I'm missing, but uh, we d we don't have any off days here. Yeah, I we guess. just came here and we're leaving a couple of hours after the show, so oh. there's only so much. Um, how was it to work um, on a movie like Imaginarium? Well, we didn't really realize uh, <laughs> how difficult and long-lasting the project would be. I think we had a bit of an overly romantic idea about making a film. But I'm really happy that we were able to pull it off and the result is something to be proud of. But uh, it was definitely a one-timer. It's uh, If you thought music business is uh, a complicated field... Then movie is even Yeah, it's something difficult. on a completely different level. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. No worries, thank you.